Later this year, California's largest home insurer, State Farm, plans to drop tens of thousands of policyholders because of significant wildfire risk. Those customers will not have their policies renewed once their current contract is up. Many of them live or work in Contra Costa, Sonoma, Santa Clara, and Santa Cruz counties here in the greater Bay Area. And for more, we're joined now by Carl Sussman, an insurance expert and broker with the Sussman Insurance Agency. Carl, great to have you on to, to help us understand what's happening here. Uh, first off, just some perspective. How unusual is it for an insurance company to announce that it will not be renewing this many policies all at once? You know, if you asked me this, Alex, a couple of years ago, I would say, oh, never. But now nothing is too surprising. It, it's definitely unusual, and it's certainly unusual to see the volume of non-renewal that we're seeing from a carrier like State Farm. We're seeing significant numbers, as you were pointing out, in areas less specifically like Oakland and Orinda, Santa Rosa. We're talking thousands of policies just between those areas. And uh, why don't we bring in a map here, because I think we have one that kind of shows, uh, we're waiting for a map, um, that kind of shows the areas. And I'm wondering if you can kind of help walk us through the, sure. the thinking on the part of the insurance company as to the rhyme or reason of where and who is being impacted. Sure. What you're going to see when you look at the map is there are some heat areas. There are areas in the map where you can see that there are more areas that are non-renewing homes than others. And they tend to be... Uh, in, in areas that have higher risk to brush exposure. You'll see a lot in Southern California, in the hills, in the mountains, in the canyons, and you'll see something similar to that in the, in the greater Bay Area, like you pointed out. So if a carrier is trying to reduce their overall exposure, and State Farm has, has publicly said that they are trying to reduce their exposure to wildfire, then we would expect them to pick those areas that are more likely to be affected by a wildfire than not. All right, so let's say you're, you're, you're looking at this map here and you realize that, that you live in one of these non-renewal, you know, hot zones, if you will. What, what steps do you think policyholders should be taking right at this moment to, to figure out if their policy is likely to be canceled by State Farm later on this year? And, and what actions, what recourse do they have potentially to, to, to try to appeal these decisions? Well, the good news is, if you can even say there's good news, is that if you're going to be non-renewed, then you've likely already been notified. Okay. State Farm said they were going to be sending out a pre-non-renewal letter to clients. So if you're watching this now and you have not received a letter, chances are you might not be getting one. However, what I would suggest everyone does is contact their agent and ask them specifically, am I on the list? Is my home going to be renewed? Because the agents absolutely know at this point who's getting non-renewed and who isn't. As far as appealing goes, unfortunately, there is no appeal process currently with the way the regulations are in place. The sustainable insurance strategy that the Department of Insurance is in the process of rolling out is going to change that. So we should never be in this situation again. But if we are, that would give us some tools to be able to go back and try and have some type of a dialogue with the insurer. And what does this mean? Because we all know that insurance, you know, is, is born uh, by kind of having a broad cross-section of the community that's taking on this risk and then, you know, it should offset that. So what does this mean for the industry itself when we see not only State Farm, but we've seen Allstate, we've seen other companies say, hey, California's too hot for us, we're leaving. What does this mean for the industry here in our state? Jenna, it's complicated because what we're dealing with are times that the carriers have never had to deal with before. They're having 100-year events that are happening every four, five, six years. So they're grappling with how to try and deal with that and how to properly spread the risk out. And it's not isolated to California. We have, I've, I've done some checking around and there are companies in every state across the country that are having what are called capacity issues, meaning mm. that they have too much exposure in areas that they're now finding are going to be having larger rate, larger uh, um, claims that are happening. So what they're trying to do, and I believe State Farm actually said this as well, to stay solvent, to be able to be sure they have enough money to pay the claims, they're having to take the areas that are the most risk and release those from exposure. All right, so we, we talk a lot about the insurer of last resort here in California, the California Fair Plan. When, when you look at this many policies, uh, as many as 30,000 policies not being renewed here in sort of one shot, is the Fair Plan going to be able to withstand that kind of a huge influx of people seeking insurance? 
Well, Alex, it's actually worse because the, we're, you're just talking about State Farm. Another carrier, also American National, just announced they were they were getting out of five states altogether, and they're leaving another 30-some-odd thousand policies in California. And to answer your question about the fair plan, the fair plan is backed by all of the admitted insurance companies in California. So the answer, the short answer is, can they afford it? Yes, because they're backed by every admitted insurance company in California. Now, the insurance industry in general is petrified because in the event there is a large loss right now, they're on the hook to have to pay their market share percentage of those losses. All right. All right. Certainly a difficult situation. And as we're going into fire season two, which I think yeah, is absolutely. something that's a worry for many people. So thank you so much. We appreciate your taking time to uh, you know, go through this with us this evening. Sure thing. Thanks.